Hi there. As you know, I was supposed to give a live interview yesterday on lovechat.com. Unfortunately, that didn't work out due to some technical difficulties. I'm really, really sorry for everyone who turned up. Um, I was disappointed too, but I stayed in the chat, so if you joined the chat, um, I might have answered some of your questions. Um, and I'm just going to move the announcement of the winner to this video. I did announce it in the chat, but I'm guessing most of you don't know yet. So I'm going to read out my um, three favorite submissions, and then I'm going to tell you um, who won and what model I'll be showing next. And I'll read out in the order um, that they were submitted in. So the first submission I really liked was by one Schneiks. I don't know how to pronounce that name. And um, it's a haiku, um, very simple, but has a really beautiful um, melody to it. And it is happily folding origami lights us in papery dreams. And I don't know, I, I just really uh, like the melody, I like the, um, the feel of the poem. The, the second one um, was submitted a week later, and that was submitted by Circus Around the World. And um, uh, the poem goes like this. I would love to see your box, for I tried to make it once, but it failed and fell to pieces as I gave it to my nieces. Um, and I think it's just fun. It's... Uh, I understand that the star box uh, by Robin Glynn can fall apart if you don't put it together correctly, because that did happen the first time I folded it. Um, and it, it just made me smile. It, it totally made me smile because it kind of got to the point. So I really, really like that submission too. And the third one is by Dr. Beams. Um, Dr. Beams um, actually made a video response and wrote a poem. And this is the poem. I was born in the woods, raised to be a tree. But my mother said, darling, that's not all you're meant to be. You can be strong like brother wood, bring shelter to man. You can be like your father, a strong oak. Yes, you can. Paper is what I'll be. I responded with pride. I choose to be the medium that brings happiness far and wide. Poems and stories I will tell. Joyful news I would bring. I may even have songs that young divas will sing. And by choosing to be paper, there's more to become. A crane, an iris, a treasure box for some. I will not stay plain. I know I can be more. With grand tessellations, there's more to explore. Each fold tells a story, like a lesson well learned. Each crease a preparation for a reward you will earn. There's more to life than being flat and plain. I'll have the courage to try new things, for in trying we gain. Like paper, my dear child, you can grow up to be a doctor, a fireman, an artist you'll see. There's no need to rush. You would not want to rip. Art and life is delicate, but go on. Take the trip. And I was really touched by that poem. I think it tells a superb story. Um, the rhymes don't seem forced. Um, and, yep, that's my winner. The third one is my winner. So Dr. Beans, uh, congratulations. I love the poem. Also, to all the other submissions, there were tons and tons of great poems in there. I appreciated all of them, I appreciated the video responses I got. I read through everything, I watched everything, um, but I narrowed it down to those three. So one Schneiks um, wanted to see the Jack in the Box, and Circus Around the World wanted to see the Star Box, and Dr. Beans wanted to see the um, Water Bomb Tessellation. So with Dr. Beans being the winner, I'm going to do the water bomb tessellation video and I'll try to record today. I'm a bit tired, which you might be able to tell in this video because I only had three hours of sleep just because I stayed up in that chat room for quite long. Um, 
So yeah, if you're wondering whether I will give a live interview at, at some later point in time, I don't know. I told Love Chat that um, I would wait for them to settle their technical problems before I, I'd look into whether and, and when it would happen. Um, they asked me whether I could come on Tuesday, but I'm actually in England on Tuesday, so that's not going to happen. And I, I first want to feel somewhat assured that if I stay up uh, late again, then it will actually work out and that I won't um, disappoint the people that turn up uh, to love chat, uh, to ask questions and kind of, I don't know, just see me giving that interview. So I'm not sure whether it's going to happen. Um, maybe. Um, I, I'd probably just have a look how things develop with love chat. And sorry again for everyone who showed up and thank you for everyone who did show up and I hope that at least those of you that joined um, into the chat weren't quite as disappointed. Um, you know, sometimes things don't work out um, as we'd like, but um, I hope I can make it up to you. So, bye-bye.